So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0366 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0366 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor B circuit range performance bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the camshaft position sensor reports back to the onboard computer the location of the camshaft as it spins. And this is used for timing. And the onboard computer, the ECM, is just seeing an error inside of this. So it needs to be troubleshooted as to why. And there's going to be two main causes of this. It's going to be either one. It's going to be the sensor. The sensor went bad. Or number two, it's going to be inside of the wiring. And so both will need to be checked to see what is going on, whether it's in the wiring or the sensor. And some people will just go ahead and swap out the cam sensor. And if that doesn't fix the problem, they come back and start troubleshooting the wiring. Mainly since uh, the camshaft position sensor is a low-cost item, I'll jump over on Amazon and give you an idea. It's uh, ranging around $20 to $50. Quite often you get one for like $20, $30. Bucks. So they're not real high-cost items or nothing. But it's also easy to check out the wiring. It's not very difficult. On older Hondas, they had two wires going to the camshaft position sensor. And on newer ones, there could be even four. But by far, the most common is going to be three wires going to the camshaft position sensor. And whatever you want to do, you want to get the schematic for your engine and year and everything before you start. But this is very common, is three wire. And what will be going on is like the middle one will be ground. Uh, one of the outer ones will be going back to the battery. So it'll be a reference voltage. It'll always be on. So it'll be like 12 volts or 8 volts. It, but it'll always be on. And then the third wire is going back to the onboard computer. And quite often what a mechanic will do is they'll take, take this off and they'll attach a known good cam sensor to the harness. But coming from the back, they'll go from ground to the return wire to the ECM. And they'll put a piece of metal in front of the sensor because the sensor will complete its circuit when, when there's a piece of metal directly in front of it. So the value on the meter will go from like 5 volts to 0 volts, depending if there's a piece of metal in front of it. And that'll say whether or not the whole circuit's working. And that's a common method. There's some YouTube videos on that if you wanted to check that out. And another thing to mention is quite often this whole circuit is on a fuse. So you want to check for any blowing fuses. Usually inside of the engine compartment, there'll be a fuse box. There'll be some type of fuse in there, although it can't be up underneath the dashboard too might be a fuse inside of there. Um, quite commonly, this whole circuit's on a fuse, so if the fuse blows, you're not going to get no power to it. So you wouldn't get no reference voltage with the, with the, from the ground to the outer wire. There would be no voltage coming to the whole plug if that fuse blows. So be aware of that. There may be a fuse in there. So if you check the wiring, you know that's good. You know there's no fuse blowing. And the next thing to do is going to be to swap out this sensor. And swapping out one of these sensors could be easy or it could be hard. It just depends. Sometimes there's other parts in the way. And that, that's the hardest part because the sensor itself is really easy to swap out. They just have a bolt, sometimes two bolts, and a, a harness going to it. But sometimes there could be other components in the way. There could be, uh, you know, sometimes there are any valve covers and things like this. You have to go look at it on your particular engine and see how hard it's going to be to replace. So what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0366 code? Well, first thing to do, Google where the sensor is located on your engine and year of Honda. Be aware there could be two sensors. Sometimes there is. Check the wiring. Be sure the wiring is good. Check for a fuse or maybe a blown fuse. If all that looks good, replace the sensor and that should be it. You should be good to go. And so that's basically it. I just want to do a real quick video of how you can fix a Honda with the P0366 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.